Hi, welcome. In this recording, I'm going to be telling you about the new moon in Gemini, which will be conjunct Venus and will be also a part of the mutable grand frost happening. And this is all happening on June 4th, by the way. So the mutable grand cross will also include Saturn and Sagittarius opposing the Sun, Moon, and Venus in Gemini. And then they will, those will all be squaring to Jupiter and Virgo opposite Neptune and Pisces. So with this grand cross also, and actually it kind of includes the North and South node as well. Um, <clears throat> so... Something I was thinking about with these mutable signs is that the Gemini that Gemini rules our mind and uh, Sagittarius rules our beliefs and our philosophy in life. And Virgo rules our habits and Neptune in Pisces rules the unconscious mind. So when you really break that down, what this is saying is that we're really changing the unconscious beliefs, habits, and thought patterns in our lives. And this could be a matter of becoming aware of the unconscious programming that has been inserted into our minds over the last, ever since we've really had media. So media has been a huge source of unconscious programming, subliminal messages. This could all be Neptune and Pisces related. And Jupiter and Virgo is helping to put a microscope to our beliefs. So... And Saturn in Sagittarius is also a part of that process of just really looking deeper at the beliefs that we hold and letting go of the beliefs that are holding us back, right? And another aspect of those energies is that it's helping us to bring into reality our greater ideals. And the awesome thing about this new moon conjunct Venus is that it's helping our thoughts to be more loving. We'll have more love in our communication and in the way that we express our emotions to the people in our lives. And this is just amazing for infusing more love into the unconscious mind and into the habits that we have and into basically the daily things that we do and into the beliefs that we hold and our philosophy in life. So this is a great time for making some serious change in these areas, in the way that we think and the way that we look at the world, our whole perception of the world is completely changing. And this has been true anyway. And a more global consciousness has come about. And now it's time for us to let go of things that are causing us to really become more separate from each other. And Venus in Gemini is helping us to bridge more gaps and look for the middle road and look for the way where we can have this and that rather than this or that kind of thing, which you may have heard elsewhere. I think I've heard something about this elsewhere as well. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely it is about that though, because Gemini is duality and it does try to find the middle road. And Venus wants to bring harmony. So it's about bridging that gap between two differing ideas. And instead of reacting in separation or in defensive ways, we should try to be open to the fact that 
people think differently and that we're all here together and that we each have a place in this grander whole. We may not always know exactly what that place is, but we each have something to provide, something mentally or um, otherwise to provide to this grander whole. And of course, uh, I mentioned mentally because I'm a very mental person myself, but there's also <laughs> people who are helping to create more organization in the world as well. Like I've come across a lot of Virgoan energies lately. Uh, you know, um, one of the things is minimalism has been coming up, all, up a lot lately and getting organized to make more space in your life with this Jupiter and Virgo. So uh, clearing out the excess, clearing out the clutter to make more space for growth. Because the thing is, sometimes clutter can just feel so restrictive. And when you clear that away, it just opens up more possibilities and more ways of being able to manage your time better. And of course, there's a Grand Earth Trine happening on this day as well. And part of this Grand Earth Trine is about reviewing old karma because of Pluto being retrograde. This can be bringing up some old hurts, old emotional baggage. And, and, and actually Mars being in Scorpio as well will be bringing up some of that to be faced as well. But the Grand Earth Trine is also about transforming the values that you hold. And you may be reviewing some of the past things that you did in a different light. And that's kind of a part of the transformation of your value system. So the old values that you hold, held may be getting brought up to be transformed. So old things that could come up for you during this time. And it's definitely about expanding beyond the old way of doing things generally in terms of what we do on a daily basis and what we do for our work and what we wish to bring into reality. So also, yeah, like reviewing what dreams you've had like Jupiter can sometimes represent like a vision that you hold, like a, you know, what you wish to kind of like how you wish to expand. Um, many of us have been materialistic at some point or another. That's part of the programming in this world is being materialistic. So now it's like kind of expanding beyond the materialism in some ways or looking at the material in a new way and really asking ourselves, what is our real values in being on this planet? What are the true things that we want to experience when we're on this planet? It's not just about having a nice house, having a good car, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, this is all stuff that have been, have been programmed into our minds to want. Of course, it's awesome to have shelter and a, a you know, vehicle to get you around, but it's not about impressing anybody or any of that sort of thing. It's, it's about really just really understanding why you want the things in your life. Is it because somebody told you to want it or is it because you actually want it? So, yep. <laughs> Again, something to think about anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to like subscribe, comment and share. I appreciate it. Um, I guess it's not really a video. It's more of a recording. But anyway, <laughs> have an awesome time. Bye.